What's up everybody? So today I'll be talking about chapter four of cultural anthropology, uh, appreciating cultural diversity and what, it de what does uh, the language define? What is language exactly? Our primary means of communication which may be spoken or written. So then what does this have to do anything with skateboarding? You know, I'm a skateboarder. I've been skateboarding for 13 years. I want to give you guys some information and I also want you guys to think about it. What am I trying to communicate to people in general? So take a look at this video. Think about the information you get from it. You'll see, you see people skating, some landing tricks, someone landing another trick, someone falling, someone falling again. It seems like nothing is being communicated. It's just another skate video of some hood rats trespassing loitering, only promoting civil disobedience and hooliganism. But, take a closer look, you'll see someone landing a trick. Yes, a trick. But look at the arms, look at the face, you'll see someone not satisfied. For example, take a look at this clip of Andrew Reynolds. Look at those arms. <laughs> look at that. They're getting killed. And getting it, I'm just not like jumping up and down partying. I'm more like relieved and kind of like drained. So, you ain't getting no bucks. A lot of people would take it if they just ran into the fence. I think a lot of people have taken their tricks. Yeah, just ran into the fence. Yeah. 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 And by the last day when I got one that I was happy with, it became like, like. I can just do it now, you know? I think the first one we went down, he like put his hand down and, you know, obviously he wasn't having that, so he's like, alright, I'll do another one. Put my hand down. Did another one and like barely put his hand down. I don't know what Waves, oh, he was like, thought he was like this. Like, Which is ridiculous. He was like this. Like, he was <laughs> yeah, did you, did you see that? That was crazy. He, he wasn't satisfied. If language is the means to communicate, then what is skating trying to communicate? When I talk about skating as a language, I don't mean lingo. Anyone can talk the talk. Tubular, gnarly, oh bro, what's up? Do a kickflip. We express how we feel. We, we express ourselves. In, a, in that way, skating is the, a form of expression. It's physical and depends on gestures, but it's not sign language. You can talk heavy philosophy or quantum mechanics with a skateboard, but you can, you can talk in abstract about your struggles, about perseverance, about willpower, about yourself. Another subculture I could compare skating to is Kung Fu. Kung Fu was never written in books, nor was it intended to be learned from books. Kung Fu was, Kung Fu was preserved with a master teaching his apprentice the moves through years of practice. The same with skating. You learn from others, from your friends. For example, take this TED talk from Rodney Mullen to help you understand a little bit more. I'd seen someone slide on the back of the board like that. I was like, how can I get it over? Because that had not yet been done. And then it dawned on me, and here's part of what I'm saying. I had an infrastructure. I had this deep layer where where it's like, oh my gosh, it's just your foot. It's just the way you throw your board over. Just let the ledge do that, and it's easy. And next thing you know, there's 20 more tricks based out of the variations. What we do as street skaters is, you have these tricks, say I'm working on dark slides, or a primo, that you guys know this stuff now. <laughs> what you do is you cruise around the same streets that you've seen a hundred times. But suddenly, because you already have something in this fixed domain of this target, it's like, what will match this trick? How can I expand? How can the context, how can the environment change the very nature of what I do? What makes them great is the degree to which they use their skateboarding to individuate themselves. Every single one of these guys, you look at them, you can see a silhouette of them, and you realize like, oh, that's him, that's Haslam, that's Costum, there's these guys, these are the guys. And skaters, I think they tend to be outsiders who seek a sense of 
belonging, but belonging on their own terms. And real respect is given by how much we take what other guys do, these basic tricks, 360 flips, we take that, we make it our own, and then we contribute back to the community in a way that edifies the community itself. The greater the contribution, the more we express and form our individuality. Man, I'm just me, and popularity, what does that really mean again? Not much. It's pure respect that drives us. That's, and better than that, because, man, I'm 46-year-old, or I'll be 46, and how pathetic is that that I'm still skateboarding? But there is, <laughs> there is this beauty in dropping it into a community of your own making and seeing it dispersed and seeing younger, more talented, just different talent. Take it to levels you can never imagine, because that lives on. So, thank you for your time. So, I want to leave you guys with one question. What is your way of communicating, aside from language, aside from writing? What can you do to communicate with someone else? Because language is understanding ourselves. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.